I gotta say, Felix looks good for a 105 year old. That's 735 in cat years, holy sh- Felix the Cat's creation dates back to 1919 when cartoons were dead silent. The fact that this character is still somewhat relevant today is pretty impressive. The original NES game was released late in the Nintendo lifespan and it shows with its great use of the hardware showcasing large detailed sprites and a good number of power-ups at Felix's disposal. And of course it sports that late era NES price tag. There's a reason this isn't called Felix the Cat Collection because you're only getting one game. You have the NES and Famicom versions of Felix with the only difference being the translation, no gameplay differences. You also get the Game Boy release which is just a stripped down version of the NES game. Less stages, fewer character animations, and slower gameplay. <laughs> The only redeeming quality it had back in the day was that it was portable, which doesn't hold up today. While filming this footage, I was surprised when I accidentally beat the Game Boy version. So what does this re-release offer? You have two screen size options with native and full a CRT filter for the NES version and a dot matrix filter for the Game Boy version, an option to reduce sprite flicker, one border, and one quick save slot. By holding the left trigger you can rewind your gameplay. And that's it. At least the game is good. Being a late release from Hudson Soft and the NES library, Felix the Cat sports some great tunes, colorful visuals, and fun gameplay. The story is cliche, Felix's cat girlfriend is kidnapped and you have to rescue her. He does this using his magic bag that allows him to change his form to attack the various enemies you'll encounter. You get new attack upgrades by collecting these Felix bubbles in stages. After you collect a certain amount, you'll change shape. Continue to collect more and you'll change shape again. Once you're maxed out, the next upgrade will give you a 1-up. If Felix takes a hit without having any upgrades, he will die. If he takes a hit while upgraded, he'll lose one level of his attack. When you receive an upgrade, you get a bar that appears and will slowly deplete as you play. When it runs out, your attack is reduced by one level. To replenish this bar, you will sometimes receive milk from collecting the Felix Bubbles. I don't know what the thresholds are for receiving an upgrade or milk because the digital version of the game doesn't include the instruction manual. There's a reason games in this era included instruction manuals, so the game mechanics were clear to the player. This release comes from Limited Run Games and is pretty bare bones which is becoming par for the course with some of their re-releases. And again, I'm not sure who the audience is with this game, it's not like Felix is very popular and it very much feels like they were just looking for a license they could grab and make some cash with. <laughs> Overall, the Felix game itself is great, but a bit easy. If you're an experienced old school gamer, you won't have any trouble beating this one. And like I mentioned before, I beat the Game Boy version without even trying. If 
you don't want to shell out the stupid amount the physical copy of Felix goes for, this is a good alternative. And that's it for me as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.